Hello guys, Ingemar here. Today we want to talk about Loki, of course. The dimensions, the cargo area, storage inside of the car. Let's have a look at that. So, dimensions of the car. We have an overall length of 4.89 meters. As you know, you can find all those numbers in the manuals with the spare wheel. Without the spare wheel, it's 4.68 meters. Um, I have the tow hook installed. That doesn't change those numbers. If you would uh, take off the spare wheel, the tow hook will only be two or three centimeters further in the back without the spare wheel. So with the spare wheel, it doesn't change your maximum length. We have a width of 2.15 meters. With the rear mirrors, if you fold them in like this, then you actually have uh, a width of 1.93 meters with them folded in. The height of the car is 2.05 according to the manual. I took a measurement today. Tank is roughly half full. There's nothing loaded and I measured 2.03 at the highest point. So that's basically above the general dimensions of Loki and there was one measurement I couldn't find anywhere so I figured it out by my own as well, uh, a couple of them actually. Uh, there was information which was really hard to get hands on. So we have a length here behind the second door of exactly one meter to this edge. Not the furnish in the back, but to this edge here. It's exactly one meter. And the distance between the rail and the utility belt is 60 centimeters. Talking about the utility belts, those are 50 centimeters long, 34 centimeters long, and this one is 89 centimeters long. So that's something interesting as well. Now you know it. Um, talking about weights, of course, rated weight, 3.5 tons. We know that. Um, I have the TriMaster Edition diesel with the winch, and that comes in at an empty weight of roughly 2.9 tons. Leaves me 600 kilograms of payload available, officially. And uh, yeah, then we have a static a roof uh, weight on there of, of 420 kilograms and dynamic 150 kilograms. And of course, towing weight again, 3.5 tons uh, maximum towing mass, and the support weight of the tow hook is 350 kilograms. I think that's about it with the general dimensions and weights. The cargo area. Well, you have this split door, which is really nice if you want to access something. We all know that. Um, the good thing is with those doors, if they are completely open, they don't limit the opening here of the cargo itself. So that's pretty flush here. We have a width of 1.24 meters, 124 centimeters, and it's 104 uh, high, the whole loading. Uh, opening and the locking mechanism here for the doors is roughly coming down six centimeters, right? So um, that's about it. The floor length here in the back is uh, 98 centimeters and at the narrowest part up here at the rear seats, if you don't fold them back, is uh, 79 centimeters still. I have a big dock crate and it fits in there perfectly, no problem at all. Uh, the width between the two wheels is 106 and the maximum width from window to window here in the front is 1.65 meters. Um, so yeah, plenty of space in here and uh, what I like as well, I got it here with my cargo net, super easy to install, quite nice. I can even drive with him without uh, installing or carrying around the, the big crate, gives me more loading space. We have, uh, again, the utility belt here or airline rails, uh, two of them, they're roughly 90 centimeters apart. Um, we have several hooks where you can mount and actually secure your loading, which is super nice as well. Plus you have an access panel here in the back where you find your uh, bottle type hydraulic lift. 
uh, talking about the tools a little bit later, but that's where you find it. Um, as you can see, there is another compartment behind here. You have some warning vests, first aid kit, and the warning triangle in there. Unfortunately, uh, I'm still missing my camping table. Coming soon. Uh, once it's there, we talk about that one as well. So that's um, pretty much about the cargo compartment with the rear seats up. Now we're going to fold them away and talk about the dimensions then. So the seats are now folded away. As you can see, we have now this little step here. Um, I measured this one at 18 centimeters. I am uh, thinking of getting a draw system in here. I have an appointment this week. We're going to measure out everything um, at exactly the same level to have a level surface once those are folded away. Um, I don't need the maximum uh, height of the car compartment, so that's probably a good solution, a good option for me. Um, yeah, just to think about it, 18 centimeters high. Now you have a floor length, um, worst case of 159 centimeters to the upfolded uh, seats there, and the maximum to the front seat. Uh, was 1.94 centimeters. So the front seat in the most forward position and the backrest in the most forward position as well gives you 195 centimeters of total length. So that's quite nice as well. And of course you can move the cargo net to the forward position as well and just place it behind the front row seats. Now we'll walk you through the different storage areas in the car, starting at the door you can see there is a compartment in each door. I have my sunglasses here and even large bottles like this one uh, easily fit in there as well. I particularly like this little flat area here um, in front of the steering wheel. You can place your mobile phone there or a cup of coffee if you're standing somewhere in camp. Um, here underneath the seat you have tons of storage as well. I have my warning vest in here, some cloth for uh, cleaning windows and so on, the mirrors and a nice uh, EDC kind of knife and yeah, there's space for more. Of course you have the same on the other side of the car and there is the tools that come with the Grenadier. The cup holders are actually quite nice as well. They hold different sizes of bottles because there are those little rubber inlets here. So even the smaller bottle is in there without causing any noise, without rattling and securely stowed. So that's super nice. In the center storage compartment, which is lockable by the way, you have space for some carts. There is two USB outlets in there, one USB-A, one USB-C, and yeah, plenty of space for various things. And what I like as well, you have those two little cable channels. So you can have your charging cables coming out there, even though the compartment is closed. There's another um, little area here between the seats. And on the rear seats, we have, again, a nice compartment here on the side. And, of course, additional USB outlets. Again, USB-A and USB-C. And those two are powered even if the car is off, if you turn the battery on. And here we are now at the passenger side. Same story here, little compartment in the door. Then you have again the underseat compartment where the nice little pouch with the tools is located. Another high-vis vest provided by Ineos and there is still tons of space for additional stuff. And I have the fire extinguisher here mounted as well. The original one with a quick release button. By just one push it would come off and is easily accessible. And last but not least, the glove compartment. Not super big, but big enough for well, daily items you might need.
that was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the information I provided. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.